Okay, today I am going to solve the objective questions in first unit, second unit, half of the third unit. So, first unit is a Z transform, second unit is DFT, third unit is IAR filter design. So, what are the possible questions in part A objective questions? I am not telling these questions only will come, just to get an idea, I am solving these questions. So, it will be helpful to you. The ROC of a Z transform of a unit step function is ROC of a Z transform of a unit step function. Unit step function. Unit step is a causal signal existing right side. So, ROC always mod Z greater than 1. Second question Z transform of F of NT equal to a power n t is, if it is only a power n, if it is only a power n, what is the z transform is? z by z minus a, but here a power n t is also there, therefore you get extra t, so that is why this is correct. Then Z transform of summation k equal to 0 to infinite delta n minus k is. If you expand this one, if k equal to 0, you get to delta of n. Then delta of n minus 1 plus delta of n minus 2. So, like that it will come values. If you plot at n equal to 0, 1 impulse will come, n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3. So, this is 0, 1, 2, 3. So, what kind of signal it is? Simply u of n. What is u of n uh, z transform is? z by, it is actually we remember in this format, 1 by 1 minus z inverse which is equal to z by z minus 1. Then <clears throat> given x of z, find its final value, not its value, final value, find its final value. So, that is a correction, final value. What is the solution? x of infinite, final value is x of infinite, Le limit z tends to 1 then x of z 1 minus z inverse, this is the formula. So, limit z tends to 1, what is x of z, z inverse, 1 minus z power minus 4 is expressed into 1 minus z power minus 2, 1 plus z power minus 2, then 1 minus z inverse as it is, denominator 4, 1 minus z inverse whole power square. So, here this term will cancel. This 1 minus z inverse, this term and square will cancel. Next step, 1 minus z inverse is split into 1 plus z inverse, 1 minus z inverse. 1 plus z power minus 2 as it is, denominator as it is. So, this step will cancel again. 1 minus z inverse will go. 1 minus z inverse will go. So, what is remaining is, is this. Now, replace z tends to 1, z inverse also 1. Simplify, you will get to 1. Z transform of 2 into 3 power n u of minus n minus 1 is answer I have given, but it is like a fill in the blanks. So, you we know this formula minus a power n u of minus n minus 1 is 1 by 1 minus a z inverse, we know this formula, but here plus 2 given, so same thing I modified minus 2 minus 3 power n minus minus will cancel, so this term looks like this, so minus 2 into 1 by 1 minus 3 z inverse, now you get this answer, straight forward. When will you stay, when will you say 
linear invariant system is stable stability so we solved one problem earlier if roc of z transform of h of n includes origin wrong if the roc of z transform of h of n includes any circle in z plane with radius half if the roc of z transform of h of n includes unit circle always any stable system uh, it will give a bounded uh, response that is possible only if roc cover unit circle that you are uh, uh, unit circle should present in the region of convergence c then system is stable otherwise no so c bit is correct then unit 2 dft questions so the structure of butterfly butterfly is nothing but uh, two point dft so you have to show like this here minus one here arrow upward <coughs> again here also you have to keep the arrow so here it is summation here subtraction this is the typical symbol of butterfly then total number of real additions using direct dft so conventional dft for n equal to 8 total number of real additions so all these formulas you have to remember the total number of real additions formula is n into 4n minus 2 so replace n with 8 you will get to 240 then total number of complex additions using fft here using fft so these formulas already given in the class total number of complex additions and how many complex additions for uh, each for example this is one complex addition this is one complex addition each butterfly two are there for 8 point uh, there are such type of 2 point will be 4 are there so 4 into 2 8 that's why here n sorry n and number of stages are log n base 2 number of stages are total number of complex addition each stage number of complex additions are n number of stages are log n base 2 so use this formula you will get 24 then total number of complex multiplications but each uh, butterfly only one so four butterflies in the first stage that's why if n equal to 8 it will be 4 so n by 2 number of stages are log n base 2 so use this formula for n equal to 8 you will get to 12 and true or false kind of question wn k plus n by 2 equal to wn k what is the actual formula minus w n k here minus is not there therefore it is a false w n k plus n is w n k w n k plus n by 2 is minus w n k so remember these two uh, properties then dft of x star minus n this is indirect question x star of n we have done x star uh, x of minus n we have done but here question is x star of minus n what is x star of n dft x star minus k what is x of minus n dft x of minus k but what is the question x star minus n so here because of minus n k polarity change so minus k further change it to another minus k it will become plus k so x star k so these two properties carefully observe. And what is the value of W49? So this W49 can be simplified like this. W4 uh, 8 plus 1, which is equal to W4 1. This is equal to e power minus j. 2 pi by 4. So simplify you will get uh, minus g. If x of n, h of n are having n values each to obtain linear convolution using circular convolution, the number of zeros to be appended to each sequence is. So what is that <coughs> understand uh, question? 
x of n, h of n are having n values each. To obtain the linear convolution using circular convolution. So, what is the linear convolution? Length will be x of n is n, h of n is n. So, n plus n, 2n minus 1. 2n minus 1 is the length of linear convolution. Length of linear convolution. So, but using circular convolution, we have to obtain linear. So, how many we have to add, how many zeros we have to add is n minus 1. We have to append each sequence with n minus 1. So, already n will be there. Circular convolution n is there. Add n minus 1, you will get to 2n minus 1. So, that is the logic. <coughs> So, how many zeros we have to append to each sequence is n minus 1. It is a concept oriented question. Then if x of n is given, some values are given, what is DFT? Capital X of 0. Capital X of 0, what is the formula here? Already discussed formula. So, it is summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n. This is the formula, capital X of 0. So, just to go for this summation, you will get uh, 6. If h of n equal to minus h of minus n, then h of k is purely real. If the sequence is uh, even, you get a real. Sequence is odd, it will be imaginary. But here it is odd, but answer given is real. Therefore, it is false. Reversing endpoint sequence on re reversing endpoint sequence on time is equivalent to reversing the DFT values. So if time sequence is reversed, DFT answers also reverse, therefore it is true. The order of input and output sequence in computing DFT using uh, DIT FFT, DIT FFT is. So, in DIT FFT, input sequence is bit reversal, output is in normal. So, bit reversed input, output is normal. T is correct. Appending zeros to a sequence in order to increase its length is called as adding zeros is called as a padding. What is twiddle factor? This is called as a twiddle factor Wn. Wn is a twiddle factor, e power minus j 2 pi by n is also a twiddle factor. The dash of a signal can be obtained by sampling one period of Fourier transform of a signal. So, from the Fourier transform, we take the samples that is called as DFT. And coming to unit 3, FIR filter design, if theta omega is so and so, where theta naught and tau are constants, then phase delay, group delay not equal. What is uh, this formula already? Uh, tau p is the phase delay equal to minus theta omega by omega. Then group delay is tau g that is minus d theta omega divided by d omega. So, because of this uh, both will not be equal. Therefore, phase delay, group delay are not equal. So, B is correct. FIR filter needs more filter coefficient storage compared to IAR filter. FIR filter needs more filter coefficient storage compared to IAR. It is true. Why true? Any for a given specification, filter order in FIR is more. Filter order is more means more coefficient, more data is there and uh, it needs more memory. So, more coefficient storage is required for FIR, it is true. IR filter always unstable, it is a false stable. IR filter can be stable or it can be unstable, so false. Linear phase filters provide constant to time delay. Linear phase filters provide constant to time delay means phase delay group delay equal, so it is a true statement. If z is a complex 0 with mod z not equal to 1, this group contain. So, already discussed now, if, uh, if z is equal to r e power j theta. 
So there is a 0 at 1 by z, 0 at z1, z star, 1 by z star. So that will give 4 zeros. The impulse response duration is limited to 10 milliseconds and the sampling rate is given 4000 find length of the sequence so do this formula ti equal to 2mt what is ti given 10 millisecond substitute and in place of t 1 by 4000 solve for m m will be 20 and the number of uh, h of n will be and capital n will be 2m plus 1 2m plus 1 you will get 41. When the amplitude spectrum is even symmetric about omega equal to 0, odd symmetric about omega equal to pi and h of pi is always 0, the given type of sequences. So, these conclusions already discussed, it will satisfy type 2. Type 2 means even length and symmetric. h of n is given, what is h of 0? So, do not replace n with 0, do not replace n with 0. So, this is like uh, sin 0.25 n pi again divide with 0.25 n pi. We are taking extra 0.25, right 0.25 sin x by x, x tends to 0 is 1. Therefore, 0.25 is the answer. Why FIR filters always stable? FIR filters always stable. FIR means finite duration. What is the condition for stability? Summation mod h of n n equal to minus infinite to infinite. It should be finite. So, if because it is finite, summation is always finite. Therefore, FIR filter always stay. So, these are the sum of the sample questions. All of you, please go through the theory, understand the theory, and easily you can answer the objective questions. Thank you.